Hey guys, Bro Cyber here again with another tool review. Today's tool review is on some of these Bremen 10 inch locking pliers. Now these are the curved jaw variation. As you can see, there's not any like nut grip or uh, straight jaw, you know. They're not needle nose, just standard. Um, so if you're gonna get these, they're about $10 at Harbor Freight. I believe they're made in Taiwan, Taiwan or China. And uh, they're made to compete with like your now your standard Erlen vice grips, which according to their site are about twice the price, about nineteen ninety nine. Um, they're made from chrome molly steel, as you can see. Um, and they've got your standard, you know, push release. Uh, they're not coated or anything. No comfort grip. Um, standard screw adjustment and. Uh, as far as teeth go, you can see the tips are cross-hatched while the regular bigger teeth are uh, straight. Some of them are directional kinda. So they would grip best uh, turning this way. So you don't wanna turn it this way. You wanna turn it clockwise if they're facing you like this, you know? Um, so one of the other unique features is let me open them up and come back down real quick. On the end here, they've got a quarter inch drive. So if you've ever owned a pair of ice grips, they either usually don't have anything at all back here or they have like a, maybe like a five or six millimeter hex or something like that, quarter inch hex, I mean. Um, on these ones, you've got the quarter inch drive. So you can get as long a ratchet on there as you want. You're not limited necessarily by, uh, you know, the length of your Allen key. Another feature, they've got these wire cutters up front. Uh, it's your standard uh, anvil and knife design. Let's see if I can show you. As you can see, there's the cutting jaw on the bottom and the flat jaw on top. Um, so my personal experience with these, um, they have worked a few times and they've also not worked a few times. So I think the first time I used these was on a uh, suspension job. I think I was doing the uh, sway bar end links on my car, which is a 2014 Ford Taurus. And to get them out, they do not have a holding feature. So you kind of have to clamp this around back, kind of clamp on the boot, clamp on the stud on the backside while you uh, either impact or ratchet off the nut on the other side. And they were great for that. They were 100%. Um, I think I've also used these on tie rods, tie rod outer ends. I can't remember if I used them on that before or not, but uh, I know for a fact I've used them on a sway bar and links. And they, once again, they held up great. Um, one of the times they did fail on me, which, uh, I guess you can't necessarily, uh, fault them for this one, but, uh, when I bought my car, they had, a uh, McGuard style lug nut uh, locks on there and the dealer didn't have the lock of course you know the lock wasn't in the car so we had to get them off somehow or another <laughs> this is the first thing I tried um, and as you can see, let's see how well I can see you can kind of see some of the teeth that are dinged up let's see how you can see it from this side you can't see it much from this side let's open them up real quick you can manually see it from the side facing me. Anyway. As you can see, those teeth got pretty ate up by that locking lug nut. Or the lug, lug the lock. Wheel lock, you know. And, uh, I wasn't sure if that was the fault of these pliers, because, like I said, they were $10, about half the price of the vice grip. I was like, I wonder if the teeth on these aren't as hard as the vice grips. But, um... Recently, I have reason to believe it wasn't the pliers' fault. If you've seen Project Form's most recent video at the time of this recording, which is the vice the wheel lock comparison, the McGuards are actually made of quite a high uh, hardness of steel, and uh, they weren't always able to get the lug nut off with the locking pliers, I don't believe, if at all. There are some cheaper versions that uh, it was able to defeat just by getting a vice grip on there, but mine were not. So, I ended up having to use a, 
undersized socket hammered on there and use a breaker bar and that worked but these failed for that and they did get damaged other than that these have been great locking flyers especially with the price um you know none of the rivets have come loose they're, they're pretty tight honestly you know usually vice grips are not the tightest pliers but uh there's not much play in these and they're about half the price of the vice grips which are also made in china or taiwan so i mean you know why not why not buy these they're great value in my opinion um so if you ask me if you needed to buy a good just a good basic like beater pair or a good everyday pair i would definitely recommend these bremen 10 inch curve jaw locking pliers from harbor freight uh if you wanted to get a really high end set you know they have the malcos which aren't made anymore i'm sure snap on makes a good pair um, but this is a great pair i would definitely recommend them anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video